Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk about crochet edgings. Edgings are good for blankets, for afghans, for napkins, placemats, basically anything you want to put an edging on. Now, when you're putting an edging on something, usually you've got a top and a bottom, and working into those is just the same as doing another row. It's the sides that can get tricky. So let's start close to a corner here. I'm going to pick up my edging yarn. I'm doing a different color so it'll be easier to see. I'm going to pull it through a stitch, then taking the working end, I'm going to chain one, take the cut end, pull that down snug, chain one more, keeping that working end snug, and make a single crochet right into that same stitch. Sub edgings we'll call for double crochets, triple crochets, it doesn't matter. In this one we're just going to do single crochet. And then continue working along that top edge just as you normally would until you get to the last stitch. Now there's a couple different ways to handle the corners. If you're doing a specific pattern, you follow those instructions. If you're just making up one, you can work three stitches right in that corner and that will take you around the side. If you want to, you can also just work a couple of chains. That'll give you the space you need and then start working into the side of your project. So let's work into the side. Here we have a series of single crochet rows. So when you're working into the single crochet rows, you just kind of find what feels like the best place to go in. It's always going to be a little bit of a struggle to push into that stitch. We just pull it through and work a single crochet normally. The next one's usually easier going in between the rows. Now, how, how many to work? Sometimes people say go one stitch per row. It just depends. Sometimes you'll get a bit of rippling if you work even one for one for too long, in which case you can work three single crochets and then kind of skip a space, work the fourth one. If that's still rippling, work a little more. If you find your fabric starting to gather, then you're not working enough. Really, it's so individual and it just depends on your gauge. You need to work whatever works for you. Do a little bit of experimenting. Don't be afraid to frog it. So for this one, it was a short enough distance that working one for one worked. If I had done this for longer, I can tell that I've got a little bit of rippling going on here. So I would need to look at either adding some more or taking some away to make sure it stayed really smooth. Moving on down to the double crochet rows, this is a little trickier. You've got spaces here in between. Some people will say to go around the whole stitch which depending on what you're working on can look all right. It does tend to leave a little bit of a hole there. What I like to do when I can is to actually kind of split the height of the stitch there, pick up a couple of the pieces and work your edging right through that double crochet stitch. Then come down to that space between the rows and work your next one. Then split the next stitch. Just try and gather two Get two of those pieces of the yarn on top of your hook and one underneath and continue on down the row. Again, edgings are something where you kind of have to figure out what works best for you. But as long as you're not finding the fabric gathering too much, if it's pulling together like this, that means you're not working enough stitches in the side. If you find it's rippling like this, that means you've got too many. Just Figure out the pattern that seems to work best for the piece you're working on, and you'll have a great looking crocheted edging. Thanks for watching.